OpenAI is slowly rolling out web browsing to ChatGPT users, and you definitely want to hear about all the different ways you can use web browsing in your daily lives. It's a complete game changer in the AI world, and I'm so excited to share with you guys eight different use cases using web browsing on ChatGPT. Alrighty, so the first amazing use case with web browsing on ChatGPT is that you can pull up recent articles as of like recording this video right now to the date, which is so important for ChatGPT in such a big upgrade as before this just wasn't possible because the data that it was trained on was all the way back from 2021. Alrighty so as you can see we have list 10 things that happened in AI this week and after it's finished browsing it's able to find the top 10 most developed stories within AI in the past week so all up-to-date information and then I'm going to ask it to put in a table with links to each source. It actually has sources cited and as you guys can see we have these sources cited so we actually can verify the information that ChatGPT is giving us, which is pretty cool. Now with web browsing, you can actually link it a newsletter that literally came out today and ask ChatGPT to summarize the entire newsletter along with all the associated links in that newsletter that you can easily click on and navigate to. Now I'd like to note, I got all my source video from the rundown on Twitter. So huge shout out to them for the video footage. So in this prompt, I asked summarize this newsletter by the rundown for me and create a list of 10 different URLs. So as you can see, it's finding the best stories within this newsletter or the most important stories. And then it's also creating links to all the different tools that were used within this newsletter, which is amazing. Now this tool is going to be massive for all my marketers. And I think I'm going to make a whole separate video on it itself, but being able to find the top trending posts on popular platforms like Reddit is going to be huge for content creators like myself who want to find the most recent and popular trends within different niches. So let's say you're a gaming YouTuber for the video game Call of Duty. Well, you'd go to the Call of Duty subreddit and be able to find the top trending post of the day. And then you can maybe make a video on it if the context applies. So I asked the prompt, what's the trending post on r slash chat GPT today? And here it is creating all of the top performing posts or top trending posts on that particular subreddit. And I'm going to ask it to make a table so I can actually view the posts on the current subreddit. Now this is going to be huge for marketing and finding big stories way faster that I can use for my own channel. However, in this example, we only grab the title. So sometimes the title really isn't useful into what the context of the post was on Reddit. For example, I know ChatGPT is useful and all, but WTF, we really don't know what that Reddit post is. However, I'm sure you could fine tune this prompt to also include the content text of the post as well. So lots of different variation that you can add to this type of prompt. Now the fourth use case is Unreal. We are going to be hacking the Twitter algorithm. We can basically have ChatGPT interpret the current Twitter algorithm and give us a step-by-step -step plan on how to grow on Twitter. I haven't done any personal testing with this prompt in particular. It says take the code for the Twitter algorithm and tell best practices to go viral on Twitter. However, in theory, this could be unreal for growing your audience on different social media platforms. And unfortunately, right now, I'd say the information with the prompt we gave is pretty generic. Things like diversify your content and make quality content is pretty obvious that would help in the algorithm. I was kind of hoping for something a little more specific, like post at this certain time. However, we all know the algorithm to these social media platforms are way more complex, but just the ideation that you could potentially do this to a better scale in the future is going to be very cool. Now the fifth is a hidden gem and this is because you can find hidden gems to travel to for vacation. So no longer will you have to search the internet for 10 hours plus to find the perfect location. With ChatGPT you can find it in mere seconds. So before you're able to ask ChatGPT, hey give me a list of 10 restaurants in Hawaii but now with web browsing you can actually get the most up-to-date best restaurants or hidden gems within that certain location. So in this example we see a prompt asking for the best travel spots in Hawaii and it's giving information but it's giving information based off the web so it's all very updated and includes locations that just came about in 2023. Now if you're like me and before you purchase any product or go on vacation anywhere the first thing you visit is the reviews. It's a vital point in business and if you have bad reviews you're not going to get any customers as it's one of the main deciding factors in whether someone's going to purchase from you or not.
not. Well, now with web browsing, you can find reviews for literally any business in the matter of seconds without having to do a thorough Google search. Now, same thing as the previous prompt, except this time it's able to find reviews of local locations that you're looking for. So in this prompt, we have three coffee shops in Vancouver with the best reviews. Now, this one could be crazy. However, I haven't done enough testing on it. So take this with a grain of salt, but you'll be able to use ChatGPT and web browsing to find the best stocks to invest your money in. Keep in mind, this is not financial advice as I haven't personally tested it yet. However, the idea is absolutely mind blowing and could be the future of investing. Now, this is going to be massive for any of my stock traders out there you'll be able to find the most up-to-date performing stocks within the market. And then from here, you can make your own decision on what you want to invest in. And I really think this could be the future of trading. It's going to be all done through AI, and it will be really interesting to see how the stock trading industry changes after all of this chat GPT web browsing stuff, because I feel like it's going to make people way better at stock trading than they currently are. Now, for all of my students who are still in high school are college, you are definitely going to want to hear this final one as it's massive. With web browsing and ChatGPT, you can now create entire essays, but now you can actually cite your sources within the essays and the sources that you cite are going to be up to date to the current day you are writing that essay. Now in this final example, I'm asking it to create a short essay on the threats of artificial intelligence and to cite at least five sources with URL links to the sources. This couldn't be done previously by ChatGPT or to a good degree because it didn't have web browsing. But now with web browsing, you're going to get sources cited that are up to date in 2023. And this is going to be massive for any students that want to make very long papers that actually have sources cited as I know know that's a requirement for lots of different high school and college essay papers. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on eight different ways you can use web browsing within ChatGPT. If you learned something in today's video, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as I help you use AI in your daily lives. I post daily videos on YouTube and I'm sure you guys will enjoy them. So make sure to hit that sub button, have yourselves a fantastic day and see you later.